As Commander in Chief, I will not allow the United States to be dragged into fighting another war in Iraq. Our message to the whole world, we are soldiers of the Caliphate and we are coming, God willing. Religious minorities in Iraq kidnapped, killed by Islamic militants. Women and children hoping to escape to anywhere that's safe. Iraq in crisis right now, so what should America do? Welcome back to Let It Rip. With us now is Martin Manor, the head of the Chaldean Foundation. As Islamic militants sweep across Syria and Iraq, thousands of Iraqi Christians have been tortured and killed. How should America respond? And where does the Islamic American community stand on this violence? The Abu Walid of Care is here with his answer. Also back with us, a veteran who has served in Afghanistan overseas. He knows the danger firsthand. Colonel Rocky Richkowski says there are no easy solutions. His comrade in arms might agree. Retired Brigadier General Michael McDaniel is a lawyer and an expert in homeland security and counterterrorism. And of course, you all know Charlie, so let's get right to it. Martin, the president said today that the humanitarian crisis is over. You say it's not. Absolutely not. We're hearing uh, daily struggles of our community back home in Iraq. Uh, more than 250,000 have been displaced. There's a shortage of food. There's a shortage of water. Uh, several hundred thousand don't have homes. They've been displaced from their uh, homes, which they've our ancestral lands, which we've been in there for thousands of years. They were forced to either uh, convert, leave with the, only the clothes on their backs as they were leaving. Even their wedding rings were taken from them. Uh, some kids died today because of the heat, the exhaustion. You've heard what has happened to the Yazidis on Sinjar Mountain, and uh, the the humanitarian crisis continues. I mean, uh, at some point. We have to, as a, uh, as a nation, respond to this crisis because people are dying every day, and not on just the humanitarian front, but we need a long-term solution. Uh, this ISIS force is not just a threat to the people of Iraq or the Christian community. They're a threat to anybody who doesn't believe in their ideology, and they are a threat to America. You know, if we, if we sat idle for what happened to Hitler, this is another form of that uh, evilness coming throughout the world. Well, the atrocities are absolutely shocking. This is video from the region. Uh, we are hearing stories. Some video we cannot show you, but we have reports of beheadings. We have reports of Christians being crucified in the public square. We have seen photographs of a seven-year-old ISIS child holding the severed head of a Christian and his father saying, good boy. Uh, it's absolutely unimaginable what is happening there. Uh, Dabud, I have to ask you, uh, I know that there has been a lot of anger in the Islamic American community uh, with people being unfairly placed on terror watch list. I have seen anger and protest in that regard, but I have not seen widespread protests against people like this who kill in the name of God. Well, let me firstly say that no faith or no religion justifies wanton violence against civilians, and we as the American Muslim community stand in solidarity with our Chaldean brothers and sisters. We actually were at a protest last week here in the city of Detroit in solidarity with the Chaldean community. These demonic people in ISIS, as uh, Martin said, anyone who disagrees with their ideology, they kill. They've killed other Muslims in Syria. In Iraq, they, they, they're running um, Christians out of their, their homes. And the, at the end of the day, these people, in my mind, they're really Satan worshipers. And so in terms of the question that you answered or the, the question that you posed towards me, we as American Muslims, as we raise our voices and condemn ISIS as we have at the Council on American Islamic Relations, we don't see them representing Islam or our faith any more than Christians would see the Lord's Resistance Army in the Congo or Buddhists who are slaughtering and oppressing Muslims in Burma. To us, these are people who are totally outside of the spiritual teachings of Islam. We condemn them at the same time. We don't take ownership for those actions because we believe they are completely counter to our daily practice here as um, the seven million peaceful American Muslims in this country. But so more Arab governments well and more Muslims uh, throughout the world need to condemn this. It can't just be the Muslims in America. It has to be the Arab governments like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, that have been supporting these types of terrorist groups in the past. It can't just be Muslims in America. Muslims around the world have to condemn this. Every time a Quran is burned, it's the Christians in the Middle East that are paying the price. Mm -hmm. All these issues come back to the Christians so, Rocky, in the Middle how, East. Rocky, how do we stop me, it? Rocky, if, if I could get a regime change in Saudi 
Arabia, I would have it changed. So, Rocky, today. how do we stop them now? Well, I think the president has to take more action than what he's already Does done. Does that mean troops on the ground? Absolutely. Well, we oh, already, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You're not, we're not General. putting wait, troops wait, wait, on the ground. Have let's, let's, we let's, already let's, have troops on the ground. We don't have combat troops, Rocky. We have troops on the ground. We have special advisors. operations troops. You can say advisors. What are advisors? Advisors come from the special forces uh, groups that operate, the third group, the fifth group, that are currently in Iraq. You've got the civil operations, uh, civil military operations with Marines that are currently going in and doing uh, assessments of, of so, Mount Sinjar so, on the, but, on but, the but, north but if side. That's, but if that's the, tr the case, then how many and for how long? Well, what I'm talking, what I would advocate is surgical airstrikes more than just the typical airstrikes that you see taking out a piece of armament. You need to take out the entire force that's on the south side of Mount Sinjar. Okay, General. So How did 10,000 fighters take over huge sections of Syria and Iraq so quickly? What exactly. happened? Exactly. First of all, it's because we have an incom incompetent, corrupt government which does not have control of the military, which does not have the loyalty of the military itself. The military is not going to fight for this government. We need, and it, it you know, we back this, this Shia government, which is not in the majority anywhere in the world, now, much less. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nuri, 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 Nuri al Maliki, excuse me, Nuri al Maliki stepped down today, but that does not end the day danger from ISIS. Absolutely not. However, you got to let this sort of, uh, you, you got to contain it. You got to contain ISIS, but you can't, you can't use a hammer. But there's a genocide like, going on. You don't on. use a hammer. There's an why ongoing genocide. Why is there, why was it okay wait, wait, to wait, wait, have wait, a wait, no wait, fly zone? You can't use the hammer against Quil Quicksilver. It splatters Charlie, all over. Charlie. Have you seen this video, what's going on right now? Where does the video every, come from? The video came from ISIS. 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 Exactly. Our people are witnessing it. I can tell you our people are witnessing it every day. Okay, wait, wait. It's exactly through Saddam Hussein. We have they no fly zones. Exactly. For this they, state, they put there's the nothing. Video out there specifically to, to make the, the, the military. Not. I could tell you. Scare off the wait, military. Mark, and it Mark makes a very valid point. The only tell reason you. why that 10,000 are able to, to counter 20,000, 200,000 in the military. They've got 250,000 in the Iraq military. Where are they? Where are they're they? Running they're running the other where way. are they? Where because they are. They're I'll tell you why. They're because here, they're not going to fight because when they came into Mosul, all of the troops, A, did not want to fight for Mosul, but the Sunni uh, population is sympathetic. Exactly. Even in the Christian villages exactly. in which the and Arab Sunnis lived in. Do you know who, do you know who no, the no, first no, person were to loot the houses? Yeah, were their Sunni right, Arab right. neighbors. So they have sympathy ISIS, towards them. But ISIS why can we have a no-fly zone for the Kurds uh, under you, Saddam Hussein? Can, why are we, we not protecting the minorities I, in Iraq today? I, I, I was reacting to the idea of combat troops on the ground, mm -hmm. not to okay. surgical we airstrikes. Have them. So we agree. We should have airstrikes, more of them, possibly more pinpoint, but we yes. should react more powerfully than we are right now. And we that. The U.S. was funding the it same group in Syria. and selected. All right. And let Christians Ge leave, too. There's a lot, a lot of ways to do this. Absolutely. Gentlemen, of course, we'll be discussing this again That's very it. soon.